Hi, I'm going to show you how the EV Express add-on works. First, you want to add the backdrop, for example, this one. I uh, quickly want to change the color for this. And why I don't see that? Ah, I have to go here, of course. Surface, base color. Yeah, change the color. Like so. Then I yeah, add the camera. I have to switch over to this button. I will add that few feature to my own add-on. I'll scale this in Z, so S and then Z. Uh, I can also rotate this backdrop. Mm, a bit smaller. Alright. So that's finished. So we have a backdrop. Next thing you want to add is add probes. Be sure to um, select your uh, root uh, collection. So add probes and that will add uh, probes to the scene. Next uh, thing you want to do is add a spot rig. That will add, you see, um, a circle of uh, spotlights and if you click this one light position the spotlights are parented to this empty and if you now grab Z you can grab that or scale shift Z that makes um, the ra uh, radius of that uh, circle smaller or bigger you can also press R Y to rotate um, that uh, rig, you can click on light focus and that activates another empty. Uh, you see that empty here and you can grab X for example so you can uh, do a lot of things with the position of the light. Then you got here some color presets. These are inspired by um, HDRIs from Greg Cell. For example, we have uh, a rainbow color, so uh, all uh, colors, but then uh, uh, distributed over the circle. That's quite nice because um, you can make nice effects with that. So if I click on light position and I press R and then Z, so I can sometimes um, do some crazy stuff. I will show you later. I double check my outliner if there's nothing strange going on. That's not the, oh, everything is right. So I got the, my camera, I get my object here, the probes, the HDRI substitute. Uh, that is. Um, well, I tried with these spotlights to imitate more or less HDRI. Uh, that's of course not possible, but um, uh, at the end uh, it's nice to have uh, all kinds of uh, presets. So that will set all the lights and uh, these lights have also the recommended uh, settings. So I spot back and then um, like uh, a shadow, uh, contact uh, shadows, etc. So um, you don't have to bother to set uh, those uh, because that will take a lot of time to adjust each uh, light separately. Then we have our um, uh, color set. Next thing, very important. Oh, we, we get the probes also already. Also, the probes uh, are set up with the recommended uh, settings. And now, for example, we are going to bake. I like to switch all the lights first to point lights because then it will light up this cube inside and I can do anything with this uh, cube for example I can give it 
put uh, my colors that these to do. Yeah, that's easy to do. I can even add a picture to it. So let's uh, do that. So I go here, image texture. And I'll open, go to my external drive. Let you see, for example, this one that has uh, all kinds of colors. So if I'm going to bake now, that bakes indirect uh, light um, by this by this probe called Erie. I cannot I cannot pronounce it, but this probe will bake indirect uh, light. Uh, I like to set it all back to spot. Um, actually, I don't really need this. I can also hide it after baking. Go back to the camera view, and now we can do some nicer uh, things. Then, let me see. Um, we add this one. We can add additional lights. If I add an additional light, uh, it will be uh, in that disposition, so above the origin, I believe, it is just above the origin. That's sometimes a bit easier, and these lights are already set up with um, the shadow and all these uh, settings. Uh, grab Y for example, X, but that's not really a neat in this case. I'm going to delete this light, it was just a show. Um, we have our backdrop, we can add smoke, I'll show you what happens. And when we do that, um, I learned I have to scroll halfway approximately, then I see the other button. So I add smoke. This will be activated, but the smoke doesn't show up. It adds uh, a cube with smoke as well. So I have to uncheck it, check it again, and then the smoke shows up. Um, so that's that. Um, okay, now we bake it in direct light. Then we go to the rendered preview, and now we can uh, do some crazy stuff. First, I show you th these ones. These are two different settings. For example, this one enables the ambient occlusion, and you see they have both both slightly different settings. So then I can go to the light position that will activate the empty and I can grab and I can scale and I can give it the strange uh, position so I get the more dramatic, dramatic uh, lighting. Then if I miss um, light here, for example, uh, let me check, I like this. Mm. You can uh, make some dramatic uh, lighting with a combination of all of those. Uh, I miss a little bit light here on the right, so I add, um, I think, a point light. Grab X, grab Y, and then I go to this. That's nice. I think I'm going to remove the smoke, maybe, or hide it. That's great. So I'll go to my point light, go to top view, and uh, move it around a bit. Uh, 
and I like to duplicate it out of shift D and then I give this another color I give this more the sign color mm. all right then for example we can uh, render it out Okay, go here, we open a UV editor, random results, then we open the compositor here. I have already some of my favorite um, node groups. And then I press N and go to scopes. Now let's check this, then I scroll all the way down in the rattle tab, there I find color management, and I think often the medium high contrast is good, I bump up a little bit the exposure until um, the top reaches 80%, 80 to 80. That's it. And next, I think that's uh, okay. So that's uh, pretty much it, I believe. So you can do a lot of things with. Um, it's easy to uh, set up. Um, can change the light focus. Oh yes, I uh, forgot something. So this one is a keying set. Um, what it is, I will show you. So I add a keying set. And now if I press I, it says here add 45 keyframes. So I will go to frame uh, 40, for example. Then I choose a non-color preset and I'm going to change something on the light. Oh, sorry, light position, grab, and is that, why is that not working? Grab X, uh, rotate on Z, uh, and then I press I. And I go to frame 80. Mm, scale, shift, set. And grab. Ooh, grab X. And then press I again. And now. So it took everything from the spot trick, the, the, the colors, the presets, the position of this one, position of the focus. So everything you see in here, that will be keyframed. So that's also pretty nice. All right, thank you for watching. And then I will show uh, again um, the, for the next update.